Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In the last video, we showed you guys how to set up and configure remote desktop services in Windows Server 2022. And in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to activate it. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in purchasing remote desktop licenses, Windows Server 2022, or a host of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are on server 2022. Let's start with going to my server manager. All right, next we're gonna go to tools and then we're gonna go down to remote desktop services and we're gonna click on the licensing manager. Now here's where we can see that server one is not currently activated and we can review under the configuration button. All right, so if I click here on remote desktop licensing manager and I click review underneath configuration, we can see that there are some requisites before we're able to issue uh, user cals, right? So I just met the requisites and basically you have to register it as an SCP, uh, an active directory domain services. And then the other requisite is that, uh, that you have to add the uh, server to the terminal server group. Now, once both of those are met, we have to uh, basically restart the services as it's telling us right here. So we can hit Windows key and R together. We'll type services.msc. All right, and then we're gonna find remote desktop licensing. Right click on this and just hit restart. We'll let it load. And at this point we can go back into server manager, back into tools and uh, remote desktop services. And we'll hit the licensing manager again. And then we'll just right click on server and we're gonna hit activate server. All right, this is gonna pull up our activation wizard. We'll hit next. All right, I'm actually gonna go with the online version of this. So I'm just gonna go to the website activate.microsoft.com. And this is designed to help us um, activate these uh, RDS CALs. So I'll go ahead and leave it as activate a licensed server and hit next. All right, here's our product ID. And this again is just from the last mini that we were on. We'll go back to here and we can paste that and we'll hit next. Hit next again. Now it's giving us our license server ID, which is this, and we'll select yes. Okay, we'll hit next again. And then here is where our activation key goes. We're gonna blur this out so you guys can't see it. And then once we've added the license key and we're just gonna click add, and then we're gonna select that where we've added it in and we'll hit next. Okay, a little summary box, we'll click next again. And then this is where we paste the license server ID. I know there's a lot of IDs, but just kind of pay attention to what the website is saying. We'll paste that and we'll hit next. And here we go, the license server has been successfully activated. To install licenses, click next. We could also postpone the installation. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit next and we'll hit next again. And then finally, we get the license key pack ID, which is in this big red box here. We're gonna copy that and we'll paste it into here, hit next. Here we go, it says we have successfully completed the license wizard. We'll hit finish. And we can see now in our licensing manager that our server is activated. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions or concerns about any parts of that process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing remote desktop licenses, Windows Server 2022, or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.